The entity date time is a hierarchical entity that allows users to extract date, time, date time, duration, interval, and reoccurrence. There are many ways that your skill might need to get date and time input. Date time entity uses subtypes to define the type of information to capture and prompt for. This sample skill has the intent to schedule a meeting. Let's create a composite bag with a date time bag item and see what kind of options we have. Once we select the date time entity type, we can choose the desired subtype. We have simple types like date and time, but we also have complex types like date time, which have nested bag items. In this case, we have date and time as nested items, where we can configure them individually. Another complex subtype is the interval, and here we see the start date, start time, end date, and time reoccurring. For the complex types, we also have the option to choose what to prompt for. We may want to skip some prompts, and this gives us that ability. I will leave this composite bag with the subtype interval as we want to capture the information for a meeting. Let's test this. The entire information was extracted from the composite bag. If we look closer we can see all the bag items resolved. Let's see this at work from within a conversation. In this first request note that we do not provide the end time nor the end date, but all the values were properly extracted. In this second request, there is missing information but the composite bag will prompt the user.